open. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. Revelation 11, verse 8. And their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which eventually is called Sodom and Egypt, uh -huh. where also our Lord was crucified. So in this same place, which is Sodom and Egypt, our Lord was crucified. It say our Lord was crucified in America. In this place that's spiritual, our Lord was crucified. Was it? What's your name, brother? Aethon, I'm off to mark. Oh, read that again. Our Lord crucified. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. I'm asking a question. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So it say in that spiritual uh, in that spiritual place that is this spiritual Egypt, it say our Lord was crucified, right? Now, was Christ crucified in spiritual Egypt? Where was he crucified at? In, in, in what? No. He was crucified in, in, in a place. Yeah. Yeah, Christ. Where was he? Where, where does the world know where he was crucified at? In what? Rome. Right? In Gethsemane, right? In Rome. Let's 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 stick to the let's stick to the facts of America. Let's stick to the facts of America. It, he got crucified in Rome right. on the cross, right. right? Okay, but this says our Lord was crucified in spiritual Egypt. Exactly. So how he he's he's already dead. Right. So how is he crucified now? That's what I'm asking you. Right. No, how 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 is our Lord crucified now in America today? If he was crucified and dead and gone already. I don't line up. So I'm gonna show you how he crucified today. Right? Give me first Maccabees chapter three, verse 48. first Maccabees three and forty-eight. I'm gonna show you how he's crucified today. Bring it up. The Bible is a true book. I know you try to take me somewhere else, but the Bible is a true book. Okay, the Bible is a true book. I believe in the book. And I'm gonna show you. First Maccabees chapter three, verse forty-eight. Read. Hey Tom, this is how the Lord was crucified in America with the spirit of Egypt. Read. First Maccabees chapter 3 verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. So they laid open the book of the law. So what is the book of the law? The Bible. The other nations, the heathens, lay open this book. Why? And then what? Read. Where in the heathen. Which in the heathen, which is the other nations. The other nations are the heathen, the Gentiles. Read. Had sought to paint the the to do what? Had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They sought to paint the likeness of of their images. So, didn't they, didn't they paint the likeness of the image of who? Of Christ. That's how he's, that's how he's, he's, he's dead again in America, by destroying his image. Right. By destroying his color. And telling us that, where the beast at? By telling us that we, and just cause they brought us our book, they destroyed us with it because we was unlearned. That's why. People say, hey, the white man wrote the book. Because he loved it when you say that. Because you'll never come back to your understanding. Right. Because once you do, you'll know, oh, he going into captivity. You don't know changes coming on his neck. He know that we'll wake up and stop celebrating his Christmas, his Thanksgiving. He know if we come back to who the true Christ is and what the Bible says, he know his kingdom is over. Right, right. He is finished. That's why he want us to stay smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, Sleeping around with women. He, he loves it when we're in our sin. The Bible says that. When we're in our sin, the other nations get joy out of it. But when we're following God's commandments, they know they can't touch us. Right. Read that again. Uh, first, uh, first Maccabees 3 and 48. Read. First Mac That's why you see us up today, up here today. They can't come up here and, and try to uh, confuse us and confound us. Because we know who we are. We know that, that this is the beast and this is our enemy. That's and not right. you. Read. First Maccabees chapter 3 verse 48 and laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. He saw to paint the likeness of Christ, the 12 disciples, the, he even, he even painted the likeness of the real Africans. Now that's a, now that's a piece. That's a piece. You make a movie and you change the likeness of even the other nations. Right. Even the other dark nations. This man Doing Alexander the Greek. Bring it out. Everything. Right. Read. 
Yeah. Uh, see, go back to um, uh, Revelation 8. Revelation 11 and 8. Read. Revelation chapter, chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Which is America. Read. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, uh -huh. where also our Lord was crucified. Go. Read. Go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28, 68. That's how our Lord and Savior was crucified. And he got us. This is white supremacy. As long as he have us believing that that is Christ, we're always going to see him as God. Right. We're always going to see him as better than us. Right. We're always going to want to follow him. Right. The Bible says, if we doubt not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Right. He's telling us not to envy this man right here and choose none of his ways. We're supposed to follow God, not him. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 68. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Read. By the way whereof. Now we, now we know what everything it means now. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So how we was going to get over him, that's how Moses said that God said that's how we're going to get over him. By ships. Read. Right. Thou shall see it no more again. They say thou. When you get on the same slave ships, it say, thou shall not see it no more again. What's that again? That bad oh, memory. Huh? Oh. I thought. Okay, I thought. I thought. I thought. I thought. Read that part again. Thou shall see it no more again. I thought. He say, thou shall see it no more again. So what is the, that is the, what is the thou we shall see no more again? When we get on the slave ships, if I, if I take you from, if I take you from somewhere and say, thou shall see it no more again, what am I talking about? Now, if you're somewhere and I take you from that place and tell you thou shall not see it no more again, what what you're not going to see again? Exactly. Give me Galatians 3 and 20. Give me Galatians chapter 4 verse 26. Read. Bring it out. I'm going to show you what place we will take it from. We you want to see it again? Read. The book of Galatians chapter 4 verse 26. But Jerusalem. But who? Jerusalem. But Jerusalem. Read. Which is above is free. They say Jerusalem, which is above every other place on the earth, is free. Read. Which is the mother. Which is the what? Mother. No, nah, Africa is. Africa is the mother. That's what they say. Read, but we're going to see who is the mother. Read. Which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is the mother of the creation. creation right. Of all. Not Africa. Not Africa. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. Read. Bring it out. Thou shall see it no more again. Which is Jerusalem, your home, man. But you were taken from Jerusalem in history, right? From Jerusalem in the time of uh, uh, Vespasian and his son Titus. Was taken, you were taken from there, 70 right. AD. Then you fled into Africa. Then you was taken from Africa to here. Right. So your original land was Jerusalem where you were taken from. That's why it says Jerusalem and not Africa. Because it went to the original land where your, where your homeland is. Because yes. Africa is not your homeland. Because yeah. where you was at before Africa? Because Africa was named after a, a white man named Leo Scipio Africanus. And America was named after America Vespucci. So common sense would say, what was what was Africa before was named Africa by a European? Bring it out. It was called the land of Ham. Bring it out. Because Noah had three sons. And each one of them inherited each one of those continents, what they call today. Uh, 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 Japheth had the up uh, in Europe. Uh, Shem had the Middle East, all of that. Ham had Africa, which is right. called Africa today, which was called the land of Ham. So it wasn't called Africa. So you find the law, it makes sense now. Read. Thou shall see it no more again. Your homeland which Jerusalem, past Africa. Read. And there. And there, now, I thought it says, and there, read, and there, then when you got off them slave ships, and there, which is America, where you where you came to, it say, and there, read. And there ye shall be sold. Give me the soul sign. The Bible is a book of our nationality. Right. It shows slavery in him. I'm gonna, you stand there, I'm going to show you more slavery in the Bible. Uh, I'm going to show you more. It's a truth. It's a truth book. It says, read. And there ye shall be sold. In America, when you got the slave ship, it says you shall be sold at Wall Street. Right. Because Wall Street was a slave block. Before that, that's where they make, no, Wall Street is where they make all the money at. 
But they say the Dow Jones and all that. But first, we was there. We was a commodity. They had us standing. Like we standing right here on this. That's how they had us. One nigga, one nigga, one nigga, one nigga, one nigga, one nigga, one nigga. While the white man is right there, one nigga, one nigga. This is what they was doing on Wall Street until they switched it over to money, commodity money. But we was the one that was making dollars, selling to each other. Another Edomite, another Edomite, selling him. Read. And there ye shall be sold. Ye shall be sold. Read. Unto your enemies. You know who? Enemies. Your friend. Enemies. They say ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You believe the other nations are your enemies? Huh? You don't believe the other nations are your enemies? Why? You believe the other nations are your enemies? Shake your head, you say no. Huh? What? You think God loves it? They conspired together and got us together and brought us over here. Get it. Exactly, that's in the Bible. Get it. Hold that. You're right. Right. That's why they're our enemies. Because they sit at the UN Council. They sit together. Okay, hey, the Chinese, they, they don't care if you're going there and buy their stuff. Right. They still see you as their enemy. They just want your money. Right. Just like the Arab. That's how you see, uh, what is, what is name there? What that, what that rebel? What that rebel? That air rebel? DJ Khaled. Just cause he make music for Negroes, he your enemy. He just trying to make a dollar. Right. Off of, off of your sin, off of your wickedness. Off, off, off of your coon. Right. That's what, that's what DJ Khaled. Just like they own these stores, 7-Eleven, they just there to make a dollar, come in your neighborhood, get your money, and then take it to their people. Right. right. I'm going to show you what you said, how they conspired against us. It's in the Bible. Read. Psalms chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, thine enemies. Again. The Bible knows the enemies. The Bible said they're not our friends. When God shows the people, when God talks about the enemies, he talks about putting on the other nations, putting them in chains, going into captivity. Right. They are enemies. When he talks about us, he said promises are for us. That's right. The kingdom is for us. That's what he's saying. He's saying you are the you are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right, that's right. I don't love nobody but you. Read. For lo, thine enemies Read. make a tumult. They make a noise. They make a they make a big noise. At the UN Council meeting, they make a big noise. They make a tumult. Read. And they that hate thee. And they that what? Hate thee. And they hate us. Read. Have lifted up the head. Have lifted up their head. Proud. Lifted up their head ones that hate us. Read. They have taken crafty counsel. They have taken crafty counsel, just like you said. They, the enemies have taken crafty counsel. Read. Against thy people. Against who? Thy people. Against thy people. It didn't say everybody, against thy people. That's the right. black, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, who are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. He said, thou has taken, read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people against thy people and against who and consulted against thy hidden ones and consulted against thy hidden ones the ones that don't know who they are right against thy hidden ones they take credit counts because you don't know who you are like i told you before if you find out who you are smash it you know he, he don't want you to find out who you are because it's over for him read they have said they have what they have said they have said Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So our enemies have said what? Come, let us cut them off from being a nation. He said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. What nation? Is, is he talking about the nation of African American? Is he talking about the nation of, of uh, Puerto Rico? Bring it out. Is he talking about the nation of, of uh, El Salvador? Huh? Is he talking about the nation of Mexico? What nation are you talking about? Israel. That's right. Read that again. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So he said, let us cut them off from being a nation. How did he cut us off from being a nation? In 1948. Right. They cut us off and put them bastards over there. Right. In our yeah. land. All like the revelation. Now don't go to it. Revelation. And say, that they, they are, they are, they are the, uh, get the revelation. I'm, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, revelation. Revelation, um, three and two and nine. Yeah, revelation two and nine. Go 
Because that's how they cut us up, 1948, by putting them over there. Them fake Jewish people who didn't even go on no slave ships. They was in trains. They didn't go on no slave ships. Read. They don't fit these curses. Nah, Revelation 2 and The book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. God says he know our tribulations and our poverty. He know our tribulations stuff we're going through and our poverty, but he say we are rich because the promises are given to us. Right. The kingdom is ours. Even though we ain't got it yet, we are rich. We are, we are fine gold. We, and I know the blasphemy. And I know the what? Blasphemy. So somebody is, God said he knows somebody blasphemy. They some they tell the lies, read. Of them, of them, which say they are Jews. They the ones call themselves Jews. Now, before you even, before we, I got up here, before I knew this, I was calling myself African American. Right. So I, I read the Bible and say, now I know I'm Israel. I wasn't calling myself a Jew. I wasn't calling myself a Jew. Right. I call myself African American. Because I know the people over there was calling themselves Jews. Right. But these are the, these are the scriptures that these are the scriptures that the pastors in the church won't teach us. Right. These are the scriptures they won't they won't show to us. Read that. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews uh -huh. and are not. And are not. And are not the Jews. But what are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. They are the synagogue of what? Of Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan. That's right. You know why they're the synagogue of Satan? Hey, you know why they're the synagogue of Satan? Because they'll take a baby and put a circumcision, right? They'll bite the baby, steal the baby circumcision and bite them off with their teeth. Right. That's how they do circumcision. They are the synagogue of Satan. Right. They the ones, they the ones um, paying the money for the slave ships. Right. They the ones own the um the movie industry. Right. They the ones own the um the um the, the diamond district. Right. They own the NBA, the sports district. They own that. They, these guys over there are they own everything. They own banks. They own the wealth. So how are they in poverty? Bring it up. And tribulation. They're not. Because God said, I know the poverty and tribulation of the real Jews. That's right. And the ones that bless me and say they're Jews, they are not. But they are the what? But they but are the synagogue of Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan. And go back to where you were. Read that. The um, yeah, do the run. What was that? Yeah, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for bondmen and bondwomen. For bondmen and bondwomen, slave men and slave women. I'm gonna show you another curse, I thought. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and uh, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 30, 32. Watch this. This gonna be this gonna be another this gonna be another curse that was on the children of Israel that to show you. Oh, hold on. Give me 46. Give me 46. 46 first. Cause I want to understand where I'm coming from. 46 first. Listen. You you come you come close. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So. Uh, me, me you a dollar, cause I, I know you listening and, and you catch on real fast. It say what and what and they. So, and something is they. It say and they, which is the curses. What we're going over, the curses. And they read shall be upon thee. It shall be upon us read for a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder. So what is a sign? It say these curses shall be upon us for a sign. So what does a sign do? It shows you what will happen in the future. So it's a premonition. Uh, yeah. A warning. Oh, uh, it shows you something. It, it's, it's also identifies something. Uh, right? Right? Uh, like, identifies, like, that, um, you see, say, all these little signs they have on here, like divine deliverance ministries. A direction, a directory. Right. You will know that's divine the, uh, ministries right there with that sign. Uh, or, or, or the Lane Avenue. You know what street you're on. Right. right. You know? Right. Those are signs. They identify something. Tell you something. So it said they, the curses, supposed to tell us something. And they shall be upon thee 
for a sign. So the curse is supposed to be upon us for a sign, we and for a wonder. And for a wonder. There's supposed to be a sign. Once you see the sign, once you see that sign and figure it out, then you wonder. That's, right. that's me. That's talking about me. Right. You see the sign first to, to identify something, which is this curse, what I'm gonna show you. And then you're gonna sit there. Then you're gonna sit, then you're gonna sit there and wonder. Then you're gonna sit there and wonder. Oh, that's that's talking about me. Read. And upon thy seed. Forever. So these curses shall be a sign and a wonder upon you and upon your seed forever. Because right. if we don't come back to God's law, steps, and commandments, it's going to keep being a regenerated cycle. Right. It's going to be really cycle. We're going to stay in captivity. So right. we need you brothers and your sisters to come back and keep God's commandments so we can get out of here. Right. So we can get out of Babylon. Right. Stop trying to build your kingdom in, in, in America. Yes, sir. Bring it up. This is not our rest. Let me do the rhyme 2832. Where we going at? Let me show you one of these signs that when you hear it, um, I thought you should say, oh, that that did that slavery is in the Bible. Right. This is a curse. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons, thy what? Thy sons uh -huh. and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It say, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto what? Another people. Me and you not another people because we what? We're brothers. Right, Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So our sons and daughters in slavery was given unto another people. Man, I told the Asa Block. Right. What that one that one that one that Even child, watch out, watch out. This child is fully healthy. If you watch the slave thing like Uncle Tom's Cabin, they sell the kids on there. You seen that? Y'all gotta watch, watch these movies. Watch these movies. You seen Roots, right? No. I'm, 12 years of slave. I was away. Huh? I wasn't here. Okay. 12 years of slave. Roots. All these are, 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 are showing how the other nations were selling our kids and taking our son right. and our daughter. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. But you know that occurred. Right. Exactly. Right. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Read. And thine eyes. And your eyes. And your eyes. That's going to describe how your eyes was going to look when that happened. Read. Shall look and fail. Your eyes shall look and fail in a, in a, in a, in a motion of like sickness, like grief. Read, you said your eyes shall look and fail, read, with longing, with longing for, for them all the day long. With longing for them all the day long, because they take your kids, you you ain't getting them back. Right. So you, when you leave, you had a mama, when they take the child, she go back to her slave quarters, and what she doing all day? <laughs> all night, her eyes smelling longing for him all the day long, because you're not coming back. Read, why not coming back? Let's go, hey, we're gonna see why your, your son is not gonna come back. Read. And there shall be no might. No what? No might. That's why, you, that's why your son ain't coming back, because we had no what? No what? No might. Because we had no might. No might. Okay. No power. No might. Yes, we was in chains. We couldn't do nothing when they was taking our kids. Because we had no might. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. In our hands. Even the men. Even the men. We strong men. But you heard the slavery. They took strong men like you. You strong, brother. They take you. But you, even you, you ask them, how they gonna take you? How they take you? But they'll take you, strap you to a horse, strap you to a horse, split, split, split you in two. They split you in two in front of, they split you in two in front of all the other, uh, all, 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 all the other for your wife and kids. Right. They take you. You you wasn't going to protect your family. They rape you. They rape you. They will rape you in front of your family. Take you, split you in two in front of your family with horses, and, right. and, and make you look weak. Will right. Will it? Will it list? Exactly. So and make you you have no might. Right. Because they put fear in you and your 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 your, your wife. That's why she left away. That's why our women see this right here. I said God though. Right. You can't tell him nothing. I come up here, I wanna, I, I wanna hear what you gotta say. I run the house, you, you ain't doing nothing, I can't tell what you say. I'ma go call 911.
Bring it out. I'm gonna go call 911. Now, if you in there being wicked and beating on your woman and doing all kind of things, that's not the Bible. Right. You better, but you doing what you supposed to do. You still have a hey, I'm calling 911. You don't tell me what to do. Read. No might in that. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Verse, uh, yeah, 41. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. It say, hey, I thought it say, it say, thou, it's another curse. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. You're going to have sons and daughters. Read. But thou shalt not enjoy them. Now, we was in, we was in slavery. You ain't going to bring it up again. When we was in slavery, we had what? Sons and daughters, right? Read that again. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. While you're in captivity, you shall beget sons and daughters. Read. But thou shalt. But, sorry, but what? But thou shalt not enjoy them. Once you had them in slavery, it say thou shalt not enjoy them. Why? I'm going to see if you think it done. We had sons and daughters, and it say, but thou shalt not enjoy them. Why shouldn't we enjoy them? We just went over. Because somebody, they would take them from them. Exactly. That's the next part of what it's going to say. Read. For, good. Read. For they shall go into captivity. Right there. Read it from the top. We're going to get a good sense of it. Read it from the top. Deuteronomy mm -hmm. chapter 28, verse 41. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. For they shall go into captivity. For they shall go into captivity. And you ain't going to get it back because there's no might. Right. Let me do Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28 and uh, uh that was the end of that, right? Deuteronomy 28, 48, 47. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou servest not. So that's why all this happened. Why did all this happen to us? Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So that's why God did this to us. Because we didn't serve him with joyfulness and gladness of heart when we had the kingdom. Right. Because at one time we had, we was ruling the whole earth. That's right. With David, with them, our king, Solomon, we was ruling. But after Solomon's reign, we've been in captivity. Right. We're in the captivity. They, they, they went in captivity. Right. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. So when we had all things, we didn't serve the Lord thy God because when he gave it to us, we went back into wickedness. Right. We went to sleeping with the other nations. We went to mingling with them. That's what, that's what our forefathers did in that time. That's what Moses did. That's why he said it's going to be on your generation forever. Because our forefathers didn't heed to the commandments, and now we're not. Right. And now we're trying to stop this thing going in the generation. Read. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Again. Enemies again. Remember I told you, the gods... <laughs> God says, we tell other nations, they're your enemies. Read that again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Because you didn't keep my commandments, he said you're going to serve your enemies. Read how. Which the Lord shall send against thee With the Lord. in hunger. In what? In hunger. In hunger. We're going to serve our enemies in hunger for food. Read. And in thirst. And in thirst. We want something to drink. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness, when we need clothes on our back. Read. And in the want of all things. And in the want of all things. Anything we wanted, we was going to have to go to our enemy. Right. Driver license. Driver license. Read that again. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which are lost. So we got to go to that driver license to get the license. Right. Right? And we gotta go get uh we gotta go get ID, social security card. If you wanna lead a comp country, you gotta get a what? You gotta get a um a, um passport. Permission. You gotta get permission from them. You gotta get permission. You gotta get permission from them to get a passport. If you want education, you gotta go to them. If you want a religion, if you want to know where our religion, in sixteen eleven. When that woman told you, that's that's what it, they taught us this. Right. And we wanted to learn about who we are, about our God. They gave us, they taught it to us. Right. Read. And in the want of all things, 
and he. There you go. It say and what? And he. So he's talking about a specific person now. It say and he, that person, that enemy, and he re shall get that, get that, get that. put a yoke of iron. He shall, can he shall do what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. The person that you're gonna, the enemy that you're gonna serve in hunger, thirst, and nakedness, he say, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Did, did the, um, did the, did the fake Jewish people over there have yokes of iron upon their neck like this? Nowhere at all. No. No yokes of iron upon their neck. The Bible is talking about you black and Spanish. And who was that? Who had yokes of iron? We know the Spanish. They had yokes of iron right. on their necks. Just like we did. Black man on the Right. Yokes of iron upon thy neck. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon until he have destroyed thee. Until he had what? Destroyed hey. thee. Until he had what? Destroyed thee. So how did he destroy us? Cause you standing right there. He destroyed, he destroyed. It says he, he gonna put a yoke of iron upon that neck until he had destroyed us. How did he destroy us, Thun? Huh? Morally. Uh, yeah, but he killed, us, he killed our he killed us mentally. Right, he killed us mentally. That's how he destroyed us. By taking away our nationality, taking away who we are, not knowing who we are. That's how he destroyed us. And he destroyed us when he, uh, uh, until he he take the chains off until he destroyed us. That's why we ain't got no chains on us. Destroyed by him. Right, and and now he can take the chains off. Right. Now we can walk around because we don't know who we are now. I got him trained just like a dog. I tell him to do this. I tell him to get out the street. We we tell you get out the street. You got me in the mouth, me in the man. What's wrong with you? Get out. I tell me get in. Police ain't. Hey, ready? You gotta get out. What mean? You better get out the street. You can't be in the street. Oh, okay. I got. I got you. I got you. They listen to the enemy because he got you trained. Now he took the yokes of iron off your neck. Right. Bring it out. So now he will destroy. Read. Until he has destroyed thee. Forty nine. Verse forty nine. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. They said the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. A nation came to us from far. Read. From the end of the earth. From the end of the earth. Read. As swift as the eagle flying. As swift as the eagle flying. All of this is, we're identifying our people in captivity and we're also identifying the person that put us in captivity. Right. You understand? It say as swift as the eagle, cause these are all the coins, and it got on the back of them. You have the eagle on the right. back of them. Right. You had uh, the Greeks had the coin with the eagle. Right. The Roman had the coin with the eagle. Right. The Spanish had the coin with the eagle. Right. The America had the coin with the eagle. Right. We was in captivity in the Greeks, the Romans, the Spanish, and now America. Yes, sir. Read that again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From the end of the earth. Because it wasn't by us from the other side of the earth. We, as swift. Fast. As the eagle flyer. As fast as the eagle fly. He's coming quick. We, a nation. A what? A nation. A nation. We, whose tongue. Whose tongue. A nation whose language. We, thou shall not understand. A language we didn't understand when he came over. We, a nation of fierce countenance. A nation of what? Fierce Counting. No, he didn't come on and say, I want to do something with you. Right. I want to build with you. Hell no, he, I want to build with you. No. It was a nation with what? A fierce counter. Fierce. Read. Which shall not regard the person. Shall not regard the person. Read. Of the old. Of the old. Man, you put, you put respect to all the elder people. He come in, he respected it, he respected our elders. Right. Read. Nor shoot favor to the young. He didn't care about our babies. He ain't even so fierce, he didn't even respect our elders or care about our babies. That's how he did, read. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of old, nor show favor to the young. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. And he, said he, and he came and ate up everything that we had. So uh, with that, I'm going to say shalom. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels.
Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.